life coach bringing you your december tarot scopes i hope you guys are doing great hope november treated you well hope you've seen those 2018 videos that i have already posted up there for you if you're interested in one of those please hit me up at ariana luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at ariana luciano so let's talk about december what's going on today is december 1st um Super excited about what it has to bring for us. On the third, we have the full moon in Gemini. There's also a video talking about that too. You should check it out. Um, interesting energy that we have going on. Then we have a new moon entering into Sagittarius on the December 18th. On the 19th, Saturn will be moving into Capricorn. As well, on the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn. On the 22nd, um, Mercury finally goes direct, and I'm sure we will all be glad. Communication will improve, travel will improve just in time for the holidays. And on the 25th, Venus is going to enter into Capricorn. So with all of this energy that's out there, I think that it's going to be really important for us to slow down a little bit, look at the things that we've accomplished this year, give ourselves a good pat on the back, and kind of start thinking about what we need to start doing for this new year coming up instead of waiting till New Year's Eve. Let's start planning now. Let's look at what's going on now and how to harness this energy. So with that being said, there's also some changes that will be coming to my channel. There will be some difference in prices, so be sure to click on the description box to see what's going on with that. My prices will continue at the same rate for the rest of December and they will change in January. So let's see what the cards have for us today. Um, and this will be for a whole, just kind of um, looking at a general energy that we have. Let me turn them this way so I won't look. <laughs> Exploration. This is going to be a month of really looking at the path in front of us, seeing what's ahead of us, where we're going, what we're doing, and how we can do things differently. You see the compass at the top of the card? You have to use your moral compass. Capricorn is in full effect. You know he's the big daddy of the planetary system. So you got to get yourself together, baby. Get it together. Find your path. Choose what works for you. Have lots of lots of unconditional love for yourself and for others. And with all of that, big, big hugs, fam. Be blessed. Have a safe holiday. And if you're interested in a read, hit me up. I am looking forward to connecting with you guys. Be blessed. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and this big, huge spike that we're having. So with that being said, happy holidays, and thank you. Hello, Cancer. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your December tarot scopes for you, big baby. All right. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you guys are doing great. My voice is leaving me. I have legit shop videos all weekend, personal and for my channel. So I ask that you guys bear with me. Whew, might have to drink me some tea before I do the next one. Um, let me make sure my um, timer is on. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for giving me a chance and an opportunity to join with you. Hopefully you hit that like, that share, maybe even that subscribe. I hope you do. So let's jump into our read immediately. Our power animal this month, Cancers, is the big, big bear. What? We're using that grounding forces, our strength, our confidence, our leadership skills to indicate time for healing. It's time to retreat. It's time to hibernate. You got that mama bear mentality, protecting your babies, protecting your work, protecting yourself. You're like, I wish you would. Okay, and you see the bear here. He's surrounded by a bunch of yellow flowers and I love that they use the yellow flowers because that's for me signifies your solar plexus energy. You're very confident in your heart space. You know what you're standing for and you're going to be very, very brave as a bear. Now, every bear has its meaning and this is the grizzly bear. So it's time to come out of your cave to face your deepest fears as a valiant warrior. Okay, it's time to just break free, stand up for yourself, do what you got to do. You might, um, if you have children, this will be a month that you bring your babies closer, probably because of the holidays. But this might be also a time if you work with children that you want to be around them, you want to love on them. You're just feeling real mama bearish. And you might want and need or be giving a lot of hugs, big bear hugs, real hugs. 
genuine hugs not them little hugs with a tap pat shit i mean like a real hug where you can feel them touch your heart space through your back and it's like an amazing feeling you know now this is also about watching your temper be very aware that there's going to be some situations this month and i only say that because when i cut the deck initially because i pre-shuffle the tarot cards um so that they're really really shuffled well and we do our shuffle together it was the princess of disc reversed with the eight of wands be very leery with conversations because there's gonna be a lot of quick fast conversations watch who you're texting watch what you're saying know that there's this thing called screen shooting baby and you want to screen shoot and send it to the right person not the wrong person hello happens to me all the time <laughs> all right so with that being said weasel is the mental energy coming in and it's around your throat chakra so i'm going to tell you like Mm, just kind of watch what's going on observe feel, you know trust your instincts but you don't have to react you don't have to say anything be very calm don't judge anything or any of your experiences is right or wrong black or white you know anything like that just it's an experience so this is a lot about observations and operating this way for a few minutes each day becomes a meditation just allowing the energy to flow saying oh okay i kind of feel upset right now why am i feeling upset what brought this on where is this coming from and kind of introspectively looking at it yourself okay now spiritually we got the soul journey what <laughs> i love this card it's so beautiful and these are by anna stark guys they're from the sacred power deck now this is a life lesson this is a learning experience this month or what's been coming up for this month up until this moment you've been learning a lot of lessons i think you've been learning a lot of leadership messages a lot of things of how to be and how to move forward okay now from this moment you choose to return to earth in this incarnation you decided you decided to go through this you said that's all right i'm gonna do that that's okay so akashic records might really help you heal over whatever the situation is it's also going to give you purpose in your life lesson so right now you're experiencing this life lesson and whatever the outcome know that this is a the lesson for a reason if even if you're unaware of it so how are you affected by it what can you do to move forward what can you do to support humanity what is your higher purpose those might be questions coming to you right now this is important to recognize the value of all the experiences of and resolve past issues and patterns from your experience to co-create a beautiful life with new perspective so cancer the choice is up to you where do you want to go from here? Okay. I have like songs playing in my head right now. Um, happy full moon. Today is December 3rd. I just have to say that this energy is intense and has caused some major life shifts for me. And I don't know if it's doing the same for you. So maybe I'm right there with you on my soul journey because my Venus is in Cancer and it's all up in my love life right now. I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, that soul journey is for real <laughs> the sweat lodge it's telling you get in there get clean get rid of all that junk you don't need detoxify sweat it out get in that cave just enough to clear out your spirit and soul and emerge the bear that you need to be there is some things that gotta go whether it's negative thinking negative habits those kinds of things things are just getting in the way and a negative habit could be um, critical thinking about yourself always being critical putting yourself down that kind of stuff that can get in your way also all right Right. with that being said let's jump into your read I'm trying to do these as quick as I can I know I can talk a long time okay all right let's bless the deck saints to tell bless these cards for cancer sun moon and rising for the month of December show us the energy that you have for them and any clear and concise messages show us the energy all right roll number four and as I cut the deck, whoa, Queen of Wands action, very fiery, fiery energy with the Prince of Arrows shooting it down, air-like energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, trying to use either the silent treatment, which that never works with me because guess what? I become very petty and I'm like, oh, you think you're silent? I used to win the quiet game all the time. So yeah, that's when my petty Betty comes out. <laughs> But this person is like, like legit, really like trying to shoot you down, shoot your ideas down or sabotage. OK, this is Era, the God of War or the Prince of War. He's the one who like set up the emperor, too. So this is a person who's probably set up other people. He could be a little bit immature. Doesn't mean that he has to be old. Doesn't mean it has to be a he. It can be a she. But there is definitely some conflict of brewing. And you need to get strength up in that cave to move forward. Mm. 
Okay, got a lot going on, Cancer. There we go. Okay, first position, Prince of Cups. Second position, Seven of Pentacles. Third position, the moon reversed. Fourth, a lies and more lies. And the fifth, you're going to take that retreat, baby. And the overall energy is going to tell you to trust your intuition. Immediately as I look at the cards, the, sun, the moon card and this card, when they come out together, for me, this is um, issues with fathers and daughters that are going to be coming up or family issues because that is her dad. So when those come out reverse, that automatically tells me, mm, we got some issues going on in the house, okay? Now, Prince of Cups energy is in the past. Someone brought you a cup of love. They're like, oh, this is good stuff. Everything's going to be super, super fantabulous. Everything's going great. Here we are in the middle of the road, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, and they showed you something that was not real, okay? Because that's kind of what I'm getting with the moon coming out and then a whole bunch of lies and leading you blindly. And somebody is moving. I don't know where you're going. I don't know if you're leaving your home or leaving your job, but there's two nines in your read, and that means you're about to pick up and go, Cancer. Now, or you're just moving on. <laughs> this Prince of Cups, I want to see what he has for you. I'm going to try to see what we can clarify with. Doesn't want to use that. Doesn't want to use that. Doesn't want to use that. Okay, okay, okay. Here. All right, Native Spirit deck coming through. Nature Spirits. Okay, this is about your heart space and your confidence coming together. Anytime I see this card, I just feel like you're walking into your solar plexus energy like, I'm coming, I'm coming. But this is about getting grounded and trusting what the universe is doing. And this was in the past and you, you were trusting and you felt great about it. In the present, you're like, what the hell? I, I made a bet on the red car and the blue car is winning. You just feel emotionally drained. You feel like you've been spinning your wheels, doing something that no one's even noticing and you're done, completely done. Now, the hidden influence is the full moon, okay? It's this moon reverse. And in this card, Gilgamesh got his hands up in the air, waving him like he just don't care. He's like, please help me, all right? And this is Sin, the sun god, I mean the moon god. And you see these two lions legit right there chilling, right? They're about to get your ass right now. I'm just playing. But this is actually things becoming brought to light. See that seven of arrows, which is the advice? Run, my friend, run. Do not do not embark in conversations with people at work about other people at work because we are going through Mercury retrograde. And guess what, my friend? Things are going to come out. Communication is going to get screwed up and it's going to be brought to the light. So be very aware of what's being said. The moon reverse is also telling you there could be some lies surrounding you. You got a seven on one side and a seven on the other. Okay? So the advice is run away, run away. Don't share in that conversation. Don't add your two cents. Take your two cents home, call somebody who don't work there and let them hear it. Because if you let somebody at work hear it, I guarantee you, they gonna find out about it the next day. Now, the energy that's coming through at the end, and you may be dealing with a Virgo because I have like some Earth-like energy coming through, is the Hermit Reverse. And this is not a negative card because it's reversed. I just kind of feel that you feel a little unsafe right now. So you're just going to stay behind these closed doors a little bit longer. You're not going to let your guard down and you're going to allow the energy to pass, which is a smart thing to do because you're not trusting your intuition. I kind of want to see what this is about right here. So if you give me a second, let me see if it'll come from this deck. Yay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Is this the card? Should it be reversed? Okay, so you're getting here and now, but you're getting it reversed. And if you look at this card upright, she's sitting on a beautiful egg. You see the doors? I want you to see something. I love when the cards match like this. You see how these doors look? They look exactly the same. They're both reversed. I feel like a door is going to close in your face, but it's going to be the best thing that could ever happen. Or you're going to close a door in somebody's face and it's going to be the best thing that could ever happen for you. So this is the past and then this is the future, okay? And it says you are here and you're super, super cute. You got like beautiful black hair and you're just sitting there chilling in your little tutu, little fairy outfit. Just enjoying life, right? 
you're behind the door. And that's what the that's the feeling I get. Whatever was done behind closed doors is going to come into flourishing. Like everyone's gonna hear about it. So this is attributed to the number 32, which is what? The number five. So we are clearing karma. <laughs> Wherever you will find your mind drifting, okay, into the past, wondering about things that it could have been better, the good old days, you lose power. The same is true for going too far in the future. Whenever you leave the present moment, you disconnect from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Now is all that counts. Come back for these entities, these eternities to be here now, and all will be well, and miracles will appear as if magic in the perfect timing of the spirit. So I kind of feel like if you just live in this moment right now, not thinking about three months more, four months ago, what happened three days ago, just live in this moment right now, what can you do to become the best you as you venture through this month? And if you just live every day in that way, imagine how many things you can conquer and how many things you can get through before you get there. And I'm going to tell you, watch your aggression this month because them lies, they're damn dirty lies, okay? And I keep seeing you walking away. Even in nature spirits, you're walking away. Even the... um High Priestess, she's walking away. Those those warriors are running away. And the hermit and the lady on the egg straight up got the doors closed. They're going to close the doors in the face, okay? There's going to be somebody who probably comes to your house, your office, or just like in public. And they're going to be trying to bring you news. And you're just going to not have time for it. Don't engage in mindless chit chat if it ain't about where you're going to be or where you're at, okay? Because they're probably not the most up and up kind of person. Yeah, there's a lot of those people out there, okay? So your Saturn return, which is going to be, or your Saturn card, which is returning to its sign in Capricorn on the 22nd, is Karnak. What? You got more fire energy. So Cancer, I want to tell you, either you're working with a fire sign, living with a fire sign, or you're, you need to uh, get some of their fire and boil up some of that water inside you, okay? And we're going to read from the middle world, okay? And this is um, the image in the temple of Mutt. And initially it's located for the goddess Mutt, rose to pro the prominence as queen of the gods, the mother, the protector. That's that mama bear mentality, okay? Now, how many aspects do you have? Are you the parent, the child, the boss, the employee, the lover, the beloved, the friend, the enemy, the exploiter, the victim, the idler, the martyr? Which roles do you embrace? Which would you rather not play? Be honest and be real with yourself. It is time to release some of your roles completely. Some people may not like the real you, but Mutt and the universe will support you as you stand in your authenticity. authenticity. Damn, I can't talk. Anyways, it's time for you to be who you are. F everyone else. Don't even worry about it. Do you. And be the best you you can be because you are surrounded by lies and you need to shut the door on that stuff. All right. Now, your secret stone or your crystal for the month is verisite. Okay. And the keywords are perspective, virtuous, and timeless. This fights against despair, especially brought on by illness. It brings emotional stability and a sense of peace. Goes beyond the mundane. It brings power into focus. Okay. Also is for moral courage that comes from a deep love of humanity. Drawing this card signifies the need to be still and open to understanding and being true to yourself. Release pretense and pretensions and let your inner self shine out. All right. So that is your read. This is a long life lesson for you. You are on a soul journey, but you have to see it from a different perspective. Don't look at the past. Don't look in the future. Look at the here and now and tell yourself, how can I do live each day to get to that final destination? Because you see that beautiful temple? That's where the Akashic Records are at in this card. So what can you do to get there? You have to harness that lion-headed spirit and you have to move forward with the courage, the bravery, and the confidence of that lion. All right. With that being said, big, big hugs, Cancer. Lots and lots of love. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Um, happy holidays. And if you're interested in a read, feel free to hit me up at Ariana Luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano. Be blessed, fam.